Hi, Iki Dad here. I've got two RVs in my yard. And I, by the way, I'm using a Boom XD Comica mic that's really good on the, I think it's good, we'll see. I just wanted, while I have two used RVs, before I sell the little one, to compare and contrast for people interested in towing pop-ups with small cars, small SUVs, minivans. Now RVs are fantasy land, like sailboats, like you can go down the rabbit hole of looking at them because there's something good about a little home, a hobbit home, a safe home that takes you away from all the annoying people in the world and all the things that drive you crazy. Sailboats, campers, whatever you want. It's like an escapism thing. My wife's taking a deep breath. Um, she puts up with me when I exaggerate uh, for effect. But there is something because many people go down this RV boat path on the internet. And I'll just say for the record, looking is is probably better than buying. Uh, and if you buy, buy used, because we only went on a few trips with this, but it's wonderful. And it has been back here under this huge tree in the shade as a playhouse, put an electric blanket on it on the bottom, and we can sleep out there at 27 degrees. So over here we have, I've just got notes here, we have the forest, river, Flagstaff, Mac. And this is a 206 ST I got used. It's uh, 20 feet long, two inches, and seven feet, one inch wide, and weighs about 1,700, 1,800 pounds. So we're gonna tow it with a Toyota Sienna. But before that, we had a Subaru Forester, an 09, and we wanted to tow something. So over there, we have our first pop-up, four years old, 1997. Coleman Tahoe, Taos. What? Four years old. Um, it's a '97 Taos. Thank you, honey. That we have had for four years. I got it for 800 bucks. Ripped canvas. We're gonna go inside each one. This is uh, 17 feet six, 17 feet long, six feet eight inches wide, and a thousand pounds. So we could tow it easily with our Forester. But let's go. Let's go look at them come with me. We're on a wide angle here, like uh, GoPro, because when you have a wide angle, I like to use wide angle lenses with RVs because it, they make them look bigger. And also, really, you can see more. My wife was raising her eyebrows again. Now she's laughing. Now she rolled her eyes. Now she frowned. Uh, I, the one thing I love about my wife is that she's a mystery. I never know how she's feeling or like what's going on or what she's thinking. That's a joke. You can see patches all over the place. I'm going to stand on the table. And it has yet to leak. Look at this one. That uh, you use a, something called tear mender. It's amazing. It's lasted four years. One of these zippers went back here. These are two full beds. The table comes up obviously, but you know, you have to crawl over the couch when you get to that bed. This is a full bed. This was a stove or a counter. Stove could go outside. Refrigerator with no power. Heater. Who uses a propane heater really in an old trailer? Seems like a disaster waiting to happen. Flames, what could go wrong? Electric blanket, electric heater with the cords to the house seem great. This is the table that comes up or down. And this is a tight little trailer. Great guest house, um, but small. So my mom was 80 years old is coming this summer and I had to go, I just had to get a new, a new pop-up, which I, I, again, I think I, this was 800 and I put new tires on it. And keep going, please. There's our cat. Oh, look. Hello. What have we found here in the jungle? It's a Siberian forest cat. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? She's really a dog. Now this one, again, about 800 pounds more and about three feet longer about seven inches wider. There goes the cat. 
This one has a bigger secondary grill outside. Not sure if we'll use it. And, and personally, I, I don't want a lot of, I don't want to drink water out of the plastic tanks. I'd bring a two gallon thing inside. Um, propane heater maybe, maybe in the winter, but if we're near a house, I'd just plug it in using an electric heater. They seem safer. There is a stove. How much cooking do you do in a pop-up? Not sure. But in our yard here, with the grandmother staying in the summer, I think it's mostly gonna be the refrigerator. That's great. And maybe the stove. And let's look inside. Okay, so the, the sun's going down. But before it does, this is much bigger. Here's the table, full-size bed. This is awesome because with the bed, with this, say, over here, and someone just sleeping in the queen-size bed, um, this can sit four people. We're talking about something that's really nice. My, much better windows. This is a 2010. has a little ceiling fan. These lights are going to work with the battery, although I prefer LED. I'll get LED bulbs, I think. And as you can see here, three burner stove, sink, which I will have drain into a gray water tank. Uh, I'll just put water up somewhere, maybe here when she's not cooking, like a two gallon thing of water. And a refrigerator, like one of those college refrigerators. This heater works well, and I might even use it, but so far, this queen size bed is great. I haven't gotten the electric hooked up yet, so we have a regular Sunbeam electric blanket, just as good, I'm sure, as a heated mattress. Outlets should work. And I don't know, what do you think, honey? This has a much like more usable feel. It feels a little more like a one room apartment. <laughs> right. And less like a bedroom outside. Right, and curtains yeah. and <laughs> emergency porta potty. Show us the emergency porta potty. Emergency porta potty. Oh my God. And there's a little thing that goes into a bucket. That's never been used. I think it would just be so my mom won't have to walk in to go pee at night. All right. This also has one of these front storage things with a side entry, which I f do find useful for things you don't want in there, tools and stuff. Anyway, I just wanted to show you used pop-ups. So if you're really in the pop-up internet, just searching and searching, first of all, see your therapist and, and you know ask yourself, what are you trying to get away from into a small hobbit house? Second, um, Little ones are great to start and very used ones are great to start. The canvas can be patched um, and you can try it out or rent one. And then spend a lot of money if you think you're gonna really use them. And if you really wanna like have someone stay there, go for the bigger if you can tow it. Uh, and four stabilizers down here instead of th three on that with the front wheel. But I have a, a fun place in my heart for our little Coleman Taos as do the children, and we will for this one too. Someday I may make enough money to indulge my, my uh, fascination with fiberglass scamp type trailers. They are all season, full fiberglass. These, as we know, are composite, whatever that's called, wood. And if they start to rot or get moldy, it's super, super uh, tough to deal with that. All right, this is Aggie Dad signing off. Did I mention I was achy from skateboarding at 54 at our new skate park? I'll show you some embarrassing videos of that. But I have to say, I'm on. I'm on. I'm in, I'm in the game. After 40 years, I'm back in the game. I stopped at around 14 when there weren't skate parks, and uh, it's it's painful and dangerous. But I'm I'm doing it.
And everybody stay, uh, stay in their little hobbit houses, either in your mind, which is cheaper, or in a real one.